What's happening, folks? It's your guy Rashad out here at Action Sports Bar and Grill, Kent Washington, with another day in the life of a food truck owner, bar owner. Follow me to work. So today's service is a donated service. You know we love our donated services. Uh, our first year, a little over our first year, we did about 5,000 free plates um, through these donated services. So we, we enjoy working with kids and houses of worship, but. Uh, this particular event was at a school, a kid's uh, Christmas toy giveaway. And it was kind of cool for me because it was actually at one of my elementary schools I went to for uh, third and fourth grade. So we were expecting to see anywhere between uh, 100 and 200 kids. And I think we wound up at about 150 plates for kids. Um, so a good event. I said this was a Christmas toy giveaway which already made it a kind of live event because the kids were pumped. They had some good toys they were giving away in there, so it was, these kids were hyped. This event was in the dead of winter. So like I said, most trucks folded up in October. Like, actually some do September. Some go as late as November, but usually by December, January, February, everybody's done. But uh, we were really trying to be an uh, all-seasons truck our first year out just to, to get a feel for all the seasons. And so this, I think, happened it was right before Christmas, so maybe like third week in January, or third week in December. Um, no snow on the ground, but it was, man, it was cold. Beautiful day, though. Uh, was lucky because Skylar was in town visiting on vacation for her winter break, so uh, we had the A-team going that day. But like every service, you never know what you're gonna get into when you start. And this particular day, uh, we had generator issues. So we couldn't turn our generator on, which meant we didn't have electricity, which is a bit of a problem if it's winter time and it gets dark out and you're doing a afternoon, evening event. <laughs> so that was just one of the challenges we had to deal with that day. Um, Luckily for us, pretty much everything is on propane, especially for this particular menu this night with the donated service. We simplify the menu so we can just pump stuff out, but uh, we did some mac and cheese and um, some tomato soup and uh, some grilled cheese for the kids. So a lot of happy faces and um, smiling faces and we, we were happy to be of service. So even though the you know generator went out, uh, it was a problem to have no power, but it was not such a problem that it had to uh, destroy the service. You know, you got to stay flexible. I say it all the time. The people who win in this game um, are the people who can uh, turn on a dime and the people who can be flexible because uh, things change so often in what we do here and things come up so often you have to be able to adapt. So really proud of the team that I have that's able to move with me when these when these circumstances force us to move and I'm like okay guys we have to move over here that they're they're willing to go with me and, and stay flexible enough to be professional and still get the job done even though it's not exactly what we plan to do uh, but had the A team going that day so no power no problem the teachers were cool the district was cool uh, our partners were cool the other nonprofits that were there making this happen. So, and honestly, I think that that's got to be my pro tip for this particular video, man. Is is in pretty much everything I think in this food truck game. Um, I think that partnership is the way to amplify what you're trying to do. We worked with the emergency feeding program, which is in Seattle. We worked with a local celebrity, Trey Simmons, who's based out of Seattle. Uh, we worked with a couple of chapters of a motorcycle club that are based in Renton in Seattle. And uh, together, you know, collectively with, uh, you know, all of the vendors who gave toys and all of those partners and donations made this really 
cool event happen for these families and I don't think it was lost on these kids. I think that a lot of these kids were really appreciative. And it's not so much that you do it for the appreciation, but when people do, it it anchors it, man. It just, it's like a weight that just makes it have so much, you know, more to it. It's more substance, more substantial. When you get something out of making someone you know, making their whole day, you know, being the blessing and finding it as a blessing to be somebody's blessing. When you get that kind of joy, you know, out of this, it makes it easy to do it every month. So um, we appreciate the people who, you know, keep us in business because our proceeds, a part of our proceeds goes to supporting this. We appreciate the people who check out the website and, and, and link up with our nonprofit partner, uh, serving action charitable foundation to um you know help finance some of these meals we're we're grateful to all the you know places and venues that host us so we can just pull up and we know they got people and let's feed them so uh it's a big part of what we do it's built into what we do and as we grow we we expect and and plan to grow this you know feeding ministry more too so Anyways, I see the fireworks are about to start. That's my cue. I'm going to get on out of here. But uh, anyways, um, Action Food Truck serving Lake Ridge Elementary kids, hooking them up at the toy giveaway. So y'all enjoy the video. Uh, check out the socials. Check out the website. Give us a like. Subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next one, I'll see y'all. All right, switching up. Big girl donated event today, so say hi, Sky. Woohoo! Sky's in the house. Yay. It'll be a good service. Beautiful evening out here. Skyway, Washington. Renton, Washington, Seattle, Washington. We, it's pretty much the same thing. We're right here on the cusp. We're out here doing a donated service. Partnered up with a couple of folks in the city. They're doing a toy giveaway today at Lake Ridge Elementary. Damn. This is a beautiful school. It's been about some odd years since I've been out here as a fourth and fifth grade student, fourth grade student, third and fourth grade. So damn, that was a little rushy. That was a little old rushy. Anyway, service is about to pop off. We got a, hoping to see about 200 kids pop through and come get some toys. A local chapter of a motorcycle club is also helping out, so. It's everybody pitching in, man. We just want to do our little itty bitty part. But uh, hopefully, see about 200 kids, hook them up with little baby soul bowls, keep the vibe going, and uh, you know, do our little giving back. City showing off tonight. Kids are popping in for the uh, toy giveaway. It's about to be a win. They got a lot of good toys in there. A 
lot of good toys. couldn't plug in yet generator issues so we're running off all propane right now how you doing man? yeah good stuff well we got a little something lined up for him yeah we ready come on come on over we ready All right, Ma, I'll take a couple. All right. Hey, it was our pleasure. Sold out too. Everybody got a good plate. Oh, well, right thank, you. Yeah, thank, thank you guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. We'll, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Back at the crib. Leave when it's almost dark. Get home. Dark. Wah, wah, wah. Truck life.